Hi, Shep Hyken here, customer service and experience expert. And today, I'm going to explain a new acronym I recently learned about that relates to customer service. Now, you've probably heard people use the expression FOMO, which is an acronym for fear of missing out. Now, people have a hard time deciding what to do, where to go, and they get anxious about missing out on the fun, a business opportunity, and more. So recently, I interviewed Dominic Castandi for Amazing Business Radio, and we talked about different customer service and experience topics. And he casually mentioned FOMU, ending with a U and not an O. So I knew what FOMO meant, but I wasn't sure about FOMU, which it turns out stands for fear of messing up. Now, specifically, he talked about how the stakes are higher than ever in business between a pandemic, supply chain issues, employment problems, and a challenging economy. Companies have had to tighten up, watch every penny that they spend, and have become cautious almost to the point of being so scared they struggle to make a decision for fear of making a mistake they can't afford to make. So in short, the pressure is higher than normal, and when it's combined with fear, that is what leads to FOMU. Now, I want to take the ideas of FOMU to the customer service world. A little FOMU, fear of messing up, is good. It means that you care. If you're a conscientious person, you don't want to make a mistake, share the wrong information, create unnecessary friction, or do anything that creates confrontation. You want to do things right without messing up. And that said, there's sometimes a bad reason for FOMU. It happens when an employee is so afraid of what their boss might think that they might get fired or get yelled at. They become almost paralyzed with fear and won't push themselves or step out of their comfort zone. That often means the customer won't get the experience they could or should have. So while it may not be possible to eliminate FOMU altogether, a culture that empowers employees to make good decisions is what you want. The employee must have the confidence to overcome FOMU, which comes from proper training and praise. So when an employee does it right, compliment them. The positive reaction from a boss begets more of the same behaviors. It's impossible to deliver a perfect experience every time. And it's crucial that every employee knows this and is given permission to mess up, provided they exhibit the right effort and attitude toward the customer in the situation. Use these mess ups as coaching opportunities. When they happen, if appropriately managed, it can give the employee more confidence than if the mess up hadn't happened at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken, reminding you to always be amazing.